High crime rate in a Las Cruces business area has business owners fed up. ABC 7 Sarah Coria spoke with them on the extreme lengths they're willing to go to for some added safety. She reports with our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Business owners gather behind me to discuss their frustrations with city leaders they say failed to deal with high crime in their area. Now it's come to us and it's frightening us and we need to make a change. Wanda Bowman says she's now armed with a taser to protect herself and her business. You may remember a few weeks ago, we brought you this footage of a man who wandered on her property with a hatchet. Marcy Dickerson owns this restaurant behind me. She says she's spending tens of thousands of dollars on private security, which include the man on this riser. I'm up here due to the fact that I got to look for individuals that are breaking into vehicles. You will find a security riser that we put in that basically allows for our security to sit at 20 feet in the air to make sure that they can fully see and secure my parking lot and our neighbors. And if we cannot get the leadership from our city council and our mayor, and they cannot come out and protect each and every one of us, business people as well as homeowners, then it's time for us to all do something. Las Cruces Mayor Ken Miyagashima says he believes there's a revolving door of people who are arrested, then quickly released, and then reoffend. And judges have their hands tied by a state statute that keeps them from holding those arrested in detention for many cases. If we could have this verbiage, and basically it is, as the courts may determine, that small sentence will help allow judges to have the discretion whether or not to hold someone in jail for a crime that they committed as opposed to letting them go. If you get arrested, you're in and you're back out because our judges are turning people loose. The mayor hopes the issue can be addressed at the next state legislative session. From Las Cruces with the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Sarah Coria, ABC7. On June 2nd, the Las Cruces Home Builders Association will hold a public input hearing or meeting to hear businesses' concerns on crime. Then they plan to bring those concerns to City Council on June 6th.